Hey everybody, it's Dead Media. We're back with Omori. We're 29 episodes deep now, I think. So we're on the fourth floor here. There's a statue of Hero. We're looking for Hero and Aubrey, but we're also kind of looking for ghosts to be able to send to him the Top Hat Ghosts party. Various sculpting supplies. Phew. I'm just about finished with our tribute to our employee of the century, of course. Look at me making statues and stuff. Never thought I could actually do it, but the boss always believed in me. Of course, Hero's the the employee of the century. He's everybody's hero. Engineering. It's like a puzzle. And I love puzzles. Now, here's the important question. How the... Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, how the hell did I get up here? What's this? Grain juice. It's not for kids. The boss used to have me work in the security department, but they said I was too soft. I heard they made Burley head of security. They say she's got a stiff upper lip. Speaking of puzzles, it seems to be one to be able to get around here. Oh, well, there's a smoke stick. We got a combo meal! Nice! Oh! Okay, I guess that one wants to fight. We'll fight him. Ow! Alright, so we're gonna attack him, and Kel, you need to have a snack, my dude. That's way too much. That's not enough. That's way too much. That's way too much. Hot dog it is. Alright, attack him again. And attack him again. Yay! 600 experience and 400 clans. Cal grew to level 15. Okay, now let's go up here. Coat rack. Okay, we're gonna try and avoid that one. But... I guess we have to fight him. I'm gonna attack him and... Kel... Give me a hot dog. That just, I realized just now that that sounded dirtier than I intended it to. Dude, stop doing that. You big meanie. Let's see, what do we need? We need... Like, I can't give him enough tofu to be able to do this. I have to give him a hot dog. Stop freezing me in place to attack me, and, you know, that shit doesn't happen. 
I feel like I gotta come back here with Aubrey so I can get at some of this stuff. I gotta break the barrels and whatnot. Oh my god, I don't want to fight you! Can I just be a peaceful little depressed black and white boy? So we're out of hot dogs. Um, fish tacos overkill, but need something. You happy solemn, I've completed three fights in the last six and a half minutes. Oh damn it, I can't even <clears throat> can't even come any further without without Aubrey. It wasn't even worth it! Those six fights weren't worth it. I didn't have to do them. Yes, ba ba da ba ba. You and your friends feel like me. Gonna save for all that effort. Now, I don't know if we'd find any ghosts on the first floor, because we didn't really see anyone we were running through. Um, we found one here on the fourth. Let's try back to the basement for a second. We're just gonna methodically go through the floors. See if we can find some of the some of the top hat ghosts buddies. Okay, no ghosts in here. Okay. Uh second floor. Just realized I'm gonna be uh, I'm I'm hunting ghosts on what is lo most likely the closest to a Halloween episode of Omori here. Yeah, I threw that thing out. That's creepy, and I kind of thought it'd be creepy. Life Jam Guy. Weird Anthro Couple. Okay, fine. No ghosts there. I guess we're going to go to uh, the fifth floor, where Aubrey should be. At least that's what we're told, anyway.
Well, 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 look who we have here. You trying to talk to the big boss, are you? Sorry to burst your bubble, but I can't just let anyone through here willy-nilly. Aw, man, really? Come on, Burly, we've known each other forever. You can't do us a small little favor? Grumble, grumble. Sorry, Kellogg's boss is orders. Today's a big day, so he doesn't want any disturbances. We got a tofu fundraiser to prepare for tonight. But Burly, it's me, your old friend Kel. Me and you go way back. Think of all the good times together. Hey, quit it. They made me head of security for a reason. They wanted someone tough. Someone who could make the hard decisions. A hard-headed person. I mean, look at my badge. It's so shiny. Hmm. Quick, Kel, think of something fast. Oh, I know. Hey, Burley. Our good friend Omori here is interested in a job. You know the boss would never turn down free work. Hmm. That is true. But... Please, Burley. Please, 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 please. Oh, alright. I'll let you through this time. But only if you get me some bottled water first. I'm parched. Yeah, okay. Hey, you got me some bottled water? Thanks, I owe you one. Come on, boys, I heard they got pizza in the break room. Alright, free pizza. Ugh, I hope there aren't any pineapples on it. You know what? Fuck you. Pineapple on pizza's good. I like Hawaiian pizza. That being said, I like pepperoni and bacon more, but... Uh, we do not need a queue, so I'm not taking it. It's concierge. The options are concierge or never mind. I think we'll go with concierge. Uh, Kenogi? What's with this big boss man Everyone uh, telling everyone to wait? Who does he think he is? Some of us have lives, you know? Bud, your name is Jerko. Oh, I'm late for my payments again. Mr. Jossum's gonna have my head on a stick. Maybe for a snack, but... Woe is me, woe is me. Boss called me up for an important meeting, but he's not available right now. I don't know. Should I wait here or keep working? It is not alive. It is not alive. Okay. I hear Jossum has a new bodyguard who's real tough, but there's no way he's going to be a match for touchdown. It's Aubrey. It's Aubrey, isn't it? It's Aubrey. I'm waiting here in order to conduct some important business, and then afterwards I'll conduct more important businesses. Of course. Jossum and I, we have many manners to discuss. Yes, many, many things. Aw, oh, jeez. It's just going to be me who has to tell Jossum that another investor is backing out. It's not my fault, all right? But there's no way I'm gonna tell him that. Anytime I read or hear Aw oh, Geez anymore, I just think of Morty. Hello, please hold. Hello, please hold. Hello, please hold. Aubrey, we're here to break you out. Dang it, Kel, go away. Can't you see I'm busy? Snap out of it, Aubrey. This isn't who you are. You know the three people canceled their meetings today? Three people. I'm supposed to reschedule them, but I don't even know how that's going to fit with all these useless events planned. Not to mention we have a fundraiser tonight. And of all the things, it's a tofu fundraiser. Who in their right mind would pay clams for tofu? I tried telling the boss so many times, but he just won't listen. This is a complete nightmare. Okay, Aubrey, I'm gonna need you to breathe. I'm breathing, Cal. I'm breathing just fine. Deep breaths, Aubrey. Deep breaths. Whoo. He. Whoo. He. You are not a secretary. Who he? B is missing and we need to find him. Who he? Who he? Who he? Who he? Oh my goodness, that's right. How could I forget? We have to find B. Oh, Amori, is that you? You must be here to save me. He he, I'm so happy. Wait, what about me? Amori, you have to get me out of here. We can just leave, Aubrey. The exit is right there. It's not that simple, Cal. We signed contracts, remember? Aubrey, Aubrey, where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for the past 10 seconds. How's that rescheduling going? Sorry, Mr. Jossum, something came up. Hi, Mr. Jossum. Dang it, you again, Kel? I thought we sent you far, far away from here. Didn't I tell you not to leave your post? Well, I came all the way back to personally tell you that I quit, and I'm bringing Aubrey with me. Very funny. My office, Kel. Now. I'll send him in right away. You too, Aubrey. Bzzzt. Dang it, Kel, you're gonna get me fired. 
I know, isn't it great? Sai, come on, let's go. Mr. Jossum's office is right up this elevator. I want to talk to the people first. Mr. Jossum, that's the name that'll get everyone's attention around here. I hear he's the type that won't ever get his hands dirty. I don't blame him for it. Or, and I don't blame him for it. I'd do the same if I could get anything I wanted with snap of my fingers. I mean, I think the claim is that he's a shark, or at least the suggestion is, so he wouldn't have fingers. I am in need of fat stacks of cash. Aren't we all, bud? Expensive books for show. I'm gonna guess all of them are expensive books for show. Papa da papa. What's this? A shelf full of various types of fruit juice. You got fruit juice? Yes, we would like to save. Because I feel like this is probably going to be. Um, it's going to be something. I mean, hell, the game itself is even doing a drum roll. Stop that. <laughs> I didn't realize the 8-bit whistling was just Cal. <laughs> oh, he is actually a shark. Or at least, you know, he looks like one? I don't know. Ah, you're finally here. Hi, Mr. Jossum. Ahem. Alright, kids, let me lay this down for you. As the contract states here, you have agreed to work for me, for better or for worse, without pay for the rest of your life. Now, a contract is a promise, and you wouldn't break a promise, would you? Shoot, he's right, we can't break a promise. What? <laughs> you're that... You're... You... Okay. What do we do, Aubrey? You're fine with breaking a contract, but not a promise, Kel, what the fuck? Mr. Jossum, it's true that we did make a promise to you, but we also promised each other when we find our friend B together. Uh, yeah, that's right. It means you have to let us go. Hmm, I guess I can respect that. Promise is promise. Aubrey, I'll let you leave, but you have to take Kel with you. Really? Wow, thank you, Mr. Jossum, you're too kind. Awesome, let's go. Wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, can we bring my brother Hero with us too? Heh, <laughs> you really are a funny kid, Kel. <laughs> you want me to give you Hero? That's rich. Rich, I tell ya. Hero's fins down the best worker I've ever hired in my life. His very presence increases my work output by, uh, by 700%. I'd be a fool to let go of a worker like him. Hey look, it's Hero. Hi Mr. Jossum, I just finished setting up the tofu fundraiser like you asked. Tables are set, the room is decorated, the toilets are clean, and the food tastes spectacular if I do say so myself. I also cleaned your windows, mopped your floors, fed your pets, organized your sunglasses collection, and folded your laundry. Oh, and here's your coffee. Just thought you'd enjoy that. <laughs> You see, kids? Amazing work, Hero. Just amazing. I might even consider paying you one of these days. Really? That would be an honor, sir. Oh, hey guys, what are you doing here? Are you looking for a job too, Omori? Hero, what happened to you? Don't tell me that even you forgot about B. Oh shoot, that's right, we need to find B. How could I forget something so important? What are we doing here? We gotta go right away. 
Whoa there, hero. Not so fast. You still got some unfinished work to do. You're supposed to usher in all our VIPs for the fundraiser tonight. Mr. Jossum, I'm sorry, but with all due respect, the Tofu fundraiser can wait. Hmph. <laughs> My feelings are hurt, hero. You haven't forgotten about our contract, have you? Well, I... Gur, forget the contract. B needs us. We have to go, hero. <laughs> don't listen to her, hero. Why would you? You don't even... You didn't even sign a contract with her. I don't listen to Aubrey because of a contract. I listen to her because she's my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Jocelyn. My friends are more important than a measly piece of paper. Measly piece of paper? You disrespect me, boy. I take you in, a young in with no experience, and I turn you into the ultimate employee. You'd be nothing if it wasn't for me. Punishment for breaking a contract is death. I'll teach you to, I'll teach you to respect your superiors. Boys, would you be so kind as to show these kids the way out? Okay, we can fight Gator Guys and Mr. Jossum. So this... I mean, two Gator Guys and Amori and Kel can handle them. So let's, uh... Let's just get to it. Okay, so we'll attack that one. Um, let's. Kel needs a snack. Oh Jesus! Jesus! I'll just let him die and give him some. Oh wait, you know what? Mr. Jossum. Uh, let's see. 62 and 72. Okay. Hero's gonna cook for himself. Kel's down. Okay, so let's see here. Amori, we're gonna use Life Jam for Kel. Um, Aubrey. Attack Mr. Jossum, you probably do damage to the other two. Hero is gonna cook for Amori. Damn it.
I feel like we're meant to lose this fight. Um, life jam on Kel. Um, attack Jawsome. Um, cook for himself. Okay, let's see. We need to use Life Jam on one of them, and the other one as well. God damn it, stop that. <laughs> Fine, I'm gonna use a sad poem on Jawsome, just because I can. And use some life jam on Hero. I very much feel like I'm supposed to end up losing this fight. I'm gonna stop using resources here. That's what happens when you mess with Mr. Jawson. Okay, I can win that fight apparently. That's not one that I'm supposed to that I'm supposed to lose. All right. Uh, well, we're basically at the end of an episode here anyway, guys. So, we're just going to we're going to stop here. And we'll try again next episode and see if we can't uh, can't fuck that guy up. Bye.